But you know, a lot of people take their vision for granted. You wake up, you open your eyes, and you see. But more of us have vision problems than you think. Research has shown that over half of us have some sort of vision problem that interferes with seeing 3D vision. So either we have double vision or we have problems seeing 3D movies. We have problems with depth perception or driving. And 5% of us have a lazy eye called strabismus, mm -hmm. where the eye either turns in or out, and the eyes just don't work well together. So those people see double all the time, or the brain shuts off and ignores one eye as a survival mechanism to avoid seeing double. So those people live in a flat, and two-dimensional world. They don't even see 3D at all. And we've got an eyeball here to kind of yes. explain the process. So, so yeah. walk us through that. OK. Well, vision is actually a pretty complex process. What happens is that the image enters the eye through the cornea and the lens, and it's focused on the back of the eye, which is called the retina. Here, the image is transmitted to the brain by electrical impulses. So vision actually occurs in the brain instead of in the eyes. Now, double vision can result from either a distortion to one part of the eye, say you have astigmatism or cataracts or keratoconus, or it could be an eye muscle coordination problem where the eyes don't line up. And either that's developmental, and that usually starts at around age two, um, where the brain never learns how to coordinate the eyes together. Because you're not born with the ability to see, it's learned and stimulated and trained. And a lot of two-year-olds and kids don't know what normal vision is. So I've actually had a lot of kids come to my office who've seen double their whole life, and they didn't know that it wasn't normal. Another eye muscle problem that can create double vision is a neurological problem. And that's if you all of a sudden have double vision, right. and it doesn't go away. And that's a problem. That's a red flag. That can result from drinking too much, too much alcohol, um, from having a stroke or an aneurysm or a brain tumor. And if that happens, go and see your optometrist immediately. And those people know that they have double vision because it's acute onset. They come see right. me in the ER. But let's show people. You mentioned coordination yes. for a young child. But le let's walk through this really quickly okay. because you gave me some funky glasses to try it here in one, one minute. But yeah. I, I don't have double vision right now. Right. And if you throw me the ball, yep. I should be able to catch it. And I heard you're pretty good at sports. So, OK, I caught it. But right. now I've got these dandy glasses that are really cool looking. And I'm, I'm seeing double, and I can't, you know, I've got multiple hands. I see two of yeah. you, two balls. So. Yeah, so let's see how you do. <laughs> but see, here's the crazy thing, and this is how you, you wouldn't even know. Your child is compensating. If you throw it one more time, I'm yep. going to show everyone actually what I'm doing. I am compensating for my lack of vision with touch. Mm -hmm. You were hitting my hand, and I, I was fumbling mm -hmm. for the ball. So your child could have problems with their vision, and you wouldn't necessarily know it. You just look a little bit more clumsy. Right, right. And you mentioned 3D. I, everyone in the audience should have 3D glasses. So let's put these glasses on. Because 3D movies are pretty cool. You see the images coming at you. And so we've got our 3D glasses on. I want everyone to watch the screen behind me for a little 3D action. Pretty cool. So the question is, did anyone in the audience, you can take off the 3D glasses. As, as great as everyone looks. I mean, and you can go home with these, too, as a party favor. But did anyone try that, and they just couldn't see the 3D images? OK. What's your name? Tim. Tim? Yeah. So have you ever noticed any problems with your vision before? Um, well, I noticed that when I go to 3D movies, um, they don't really do a whole lot for me. I kind of sit there with the glasses on and I have to put them on over my glasses. And um, I just, the, the images don't really pop a whole lot out of the screen for me. I kind of just get a headache. I get a little dizzy sometimes. Um, You're like, why did I waste my money on this? First of all, see your optometrist and have an eye exam. Find out what the problem is. And then there's different treatment options depending on what your problem is. Or you may need a type of physical therapy called vision therapy where we can work on eye muscle control and coordination to train your brain how to use your eyes together as a team to avoid seeing double and to see real 3D vision. So thank, cool. thank you, sir. And, and not being able to see 3D movies is not such a big problem, but not being able to catch a ball or read. Because if you look at these images, mm -hmm. I want everyone to look and see what a person seeing double would see when they're looking at a bird, or even worse, if you're trying to read. You can't live your life like that. Right. So if you're experiencing those symptoms, I urge you to go get it checked out with your eye doctor.